everyone. Happy hump day. Hope you're all well. I just thought I'd come on here and show you some of my favourite things lately. Um, I've been gifted these by a company who I, I sort of noticed a while back. I was in Holland and Barrett. This was many years ago. And I picked up a rose hip face oil because I was doing a feature on um, face oils for Prima magazine. And um, while I was in there picking up my vitamins for my old age and stuff like that, I came across Odalik and I'd never heard of them before, um, this company, and it just looked really interesting. So I went home and had a little research of them and uh, found out that they were started um, by a lady called Margaret who her kids had um, eczema, suffered from eczema. So she went out into her garden, she was growing herbs and things like that. And she came up with a range of, well, first of all, I think it was just one sort of balm product. I'm not sure. But anyway, she wanted to cure their eczema or at least, you know, improve it. And she managed to do so. And in that doing so, she found a love for putting products together and making these wonderful little tinctures and um, balms. And now she's got a huge, well, it's not a huge range, but it's like a comprehensive range of skincare and also makeup. And... Um, I got sent loads and loads of different um, face products, face oils for this uh, feature that I was doing. But I loved the Odor Leak so much that um, I wrote about it, let them let the PR know that I was writing about it because I loved it. So anyway, as the years have gone on, I've still sort of picked up that product and used it. Um, but obviously I get sent quite a few other things and so I've been using those but Odile contacted me a while back and just asked me would I like to have a look at some of their newest products and things that you lot might be interested in and of course I said yes thank you very very much um, obviously I don't need to mention them if I don't want to or if I don't like them I'm not getting paid um, but there are a few things that I think you should know about so this one is the Odile Calendula Balm I love a balm Honestly, I mean, look at the, see, you put that on and look at that texture. It's soft. It feels lovely. It smells nice. I mean, it's all um, organic, certified organic, these products, obviously cruelty free. Um, so, you know, they're nourishing and what you put on your skin is going to be good for your skin inside and out. So you've got to have a, I have to have a balm by my desk all the time for my cuticles, for my lips, around my eyes when I get tired. Um, it's one of these, it's a whole family, you know, you put it on your kids, put it on your husband's beard, on your shaving rash, whatever. It's my favourite. So there's that one. Um, there's the lemongrass hand and body wash, which smells divine. Absolutely. Mine's all gone. There's a tiny little bit left. But it really does smell fresh and it's soothing. Um, it's great to wake you up in the morning, which I always need, along with 10 cups of coffee. But it, it has mint to energise the mind and the senses, as well as um, the lemongrass, which is beautifully fragrant. So that's a gorgeous one, especially in the morning. And um, the herb shampoo, which I must say, you know, I, I sort of like... I'm bit funny with shampoos my hair's um quite thick and dry but this one is extra it's for all skin types and sensitive as well but it's um it's really moisturizing so it's got aloe vera juice in it and coconut and coconut oil horsetail rosemary sunflower um and it's just i i wash my hair with this twice like i do two two washes and then conditioner but it's great because I don't feel I need that much conditioner with it. I still will use conditioner because I sort of have to. Um, but I think if you if you're sort of like less um, dry at the end, if you're not sort of processed like me, well, I should say I'm naturally blonde, but might be a lie. So I would give this a go because you might not even need a conditioner with it. So this is their gentle herb shampoo. Again, great for kids. Um, you know, great for the whole family. I keep it on my shelf. The um, kids haven't noticed yet, so that's quite handy. Um, and this, oh, it's called Creamy Coconut Cleanser. I absolutely love it. I'll show you a little bit on my hand. It is really, really creamy. So I use this every night, every morning, because it's gentle enough. There's, it's got a lovely fresh smell again, um, and it's got what I love about it, because you can sort of... There's a slight smell of the rose in it as well. 
um, and it's non-drying. It's great to put. What I do is I pop it on. It's got soothing rose in it and obviously coconut. I put it on, um, massage it into my face and leave it at night, especially because I, I, I don't know whether you're meant to be able to use it for your eyes, but I do. Uh, it says around the eyes. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around my eyes. Anyway, so I do and I pop it on, um, obviously close them, but it takes off my makeup and then I use a hot flannel or one of my cheeky wipes because um, I don't use uh, cotton walls anymore because of the environment. So um, use one of my wipes or an old flannel, clean old flannel, I must say, and then I, I wet it and then I rinse it all off and it feels squeaky fresh, not squeaky, I'm squeaky, um, just fresh, really clean and um, glowing. And I love it. So it's really gentle as well. And I think it's a great one for everyday use. And it's, you know, maybe... I use I use it as my only cleanser, but I think some people might use um, they double cleanse. But anyway, so this is Odalik, and I think you should check them out. As I say, I'm not getting paid for this, but they're just really lovely products. And when I find something that really relates and resonates with me, I think you should know. Anyway, that's my little story for today. Have a good day. Bye.